Before you stands a cargo container. Just one of many in the yard. You do? Because I don't. There are a million containers here. Why are you fixating on this one? You just picked one out because you wanted to interact with a cargo container. We are not here to interact with containers. No reply. The knot produces a hollow ring of metal. Doesn't sound like there's anything inside. You attempt to turn the handle to no effect. To your left, the lieutenant considers your actions with some puzzlement. like a harbor. You've been in there, he means. Talked to the boss man too, probably. It's but a rest area on the path leading across open plains. Right, you talk to the boss eye to eye, like men of the plain. If you have any more questions, I'm set to talk. A key, huh? What door is this key supposed to open? Oh, say no more. I got you. I got that key right here. And let me tell you, it's mighty good of you to help us out during the strike. Working class solidarity, as they say. Polar Weasel? Oh. I know what you mean. I'm pretty sure he's actually Occidental, though. So you're gonna... What you're looking for is a basement door behind the greenhouse. That's behind the whirling in rags. That's all I know. Our organization is what you call compartmentalized. Okay, but where did you get the key? The janitor gave it to me. Nice fella. We talked about life and things that really, truly matter. None of this mess we're in. This jiving and juggling. What's it for? to feed our children, I guess. I'm more of a philosophical dog worker. I like to talk about the big picture stuff. Who I am, who you are, what we are fighting for. He means he's not going to tell you cause he doesn't know. But he will shoot his mouth off with you now that you're working for Everhunt. We're negotiating our share. Aye. All of it. However, right now we want all the harbor workers to be on the company's board, so they could take... This seditious talk sounds like communism. Just so we're on the same page, communism is basically wanting to kill the rich people, or deporting them. No. I don't think I'm a communist. Seeing something of value and saying I want it all to myself is a much older and simpler notion. Even a weak child can think it. The only things holding someone back are I can't and I shouldn't. A none of the above kind of man. No harm in being that. I think it's best you make up your own mind now that you've met him. 
In my eyes, he is a capable organizer and a decent businessman. I guess you kind of get to be the village chief. He oversees the harbor, makes deals with the owners or other relevant parties. By that, you mean corruption? By heavens, why would he not be corrupt? We live in a harsh and disordered world, see? And in this world, the old man is corrupt for our benefit, and we know it. Appreciate it, even. He is, personally, not too lavish. He is reasonably lavish, sure. That's his prerogative. It's not like you want a saintly demeanor on a corrupt motherfucker. That would be a manipulative illusion. Besides, there are no non-corrupt systems in the world anyway. And moralism is the most corrupt of them all. This man has political theory, and it has not failed him today. Sure, I've had the necessary free time. Fortunately, there's always time. The look in his brown eyes conjures up an understanding. For him, having command of his time is the most important. It all comes together now. The way he speaks about scabs, his general attitude. He's a follower of a 500-year-old Franco-Nigerian Boyadero code, itself an appropriation of this that of a noble peasant, or a traveling herdsman. True to yourself, independent in your actions, loyal to your friends. No. No. The man sits on the railing, his hands reaching far and wide, yet it feels as if he could. The mercenary, eh? Who could have killed him? That's indeed the question. Why even do such a thing? What a thought! Why would noble workers resort to such a thing? Your dead guy was an enemy combatant. He was an agent of the opposition, attempting to undermine our honorable efforts. I ain't the murdering type, but that's just me. Large organizations like our union have all sorts of men. With all sorts of... He's not lying about not doing it. Understood. This has been of limited use. No problem. I wish the best to you in your search. It's clear you like the hard stuff, Bruta. Lower intestine. The term fascism, Bruta. You're going to keep your views, right? Keep your views, Bruta. For the nation, smart. Best not to mention the women issue too often. Hey, psst, psst. Hey, yes, you. Word on the street is you're ready to start building communism. Yes, you're ready to start building communism again. You've built it before. They've built it before. Hasn't really worked out yet, but neither has l good. We need tender men like you building gargantuan communism. Word on the street is, it's going to be ten. You keep saying things like, down with the bourgeoisie, eat the rich, sodomize the landowners, impound all people who have more than funky style. Very funky. So tell me, do you have any quest? Oh yeah, get the firing squads and the animal wagons ready.
the tear machine, your bottles clunk into the machine, and the money appears. Give me a moment. That isn't just a five-pointed star. It's an inverted white pentagram cradled in a reed. The star and antlers was developed in the sixth decade of the last century and quickly adopted even today, half a century after. The star and antlers retains the ability to evoke hope disappointment to symbolize the toppling of the old order. Also, some social democrats were already using it. The wreath of antlers represents a natural crown. It was about building a society that could exist in accord with because white is the color of peace. Gone. Gone is the glory of hope. Only the scribblings of impoverished students. You are the big communism builder now. Yes? This door is made. No one answers. We should return tomorrow. Tomorrow at 9 p.m. This must be it. The ba You knock silently. The upholstery muffles the sound. I guess no one is in? The door is slick with rain. In fact, it's oddly silent in the yard. Let's be honest. This isn't what I joined the RCM for. But every day tells you something new. Apparently, 
working with the local union boss to get info on an investigation is not something I'm screaming. I mind that the local thug is using the RCM for his busy work. But if this gets us to the bottom of this... On the other hand, we could just leave and tell Evrard we open the door. Yes, presenting a fabrication is... Not the door is right here. You can just open it and be done with this. You try to be as silent as you can. Finally, the door unlocks with a... There might be important information in the... This is the flag of Rivershaw, the suzerainty. This isn't just one sun, but there are little suns dancing around the big sun. This is the seventh. It's an optical atmospheric anomaly the first settlers saw. Happens in cold weather. Six small suns around the big one. This complex halo phenomenon. Mm -hmm. The tenant is an old. By old fashioned, he means very right wing. The flag doesn't seem to mind. It's just a colorful fabric with the sun sewn onto it. A row of mugs sits on the shelf. Each one depicts a human figure. A dark-skinned woman grinning amidst mysterious symbols. A broad-shouldered man shoveling potato. A little ring. Though cheerful, the images on the ceramic make you vaguely uncomfortable. There's something disdainful in the way the curves and lines of the... It looks like the artist is celebrating diversity. But underneath, he's just making fun of these people. You ain't gonna change someone's mind by calling them a bastard. The lieutenant picks up one of the mugs. Then put... I'm beginning to feel better about... Br a little ring. There's something dist... It looks like the artist is celebrating diversity. But of course, you slippery... The lieutenant... I'm beginning to... A little ring. There's something dist... It looks like the artist... No one... The lieutenant... I'm beginning to feel better. Hello, sweet. Wait, who's sweetie? For a handsome man, officer, with your must but dear, you're not for you must forgive me. I'm I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary. This Lena is wacky enough for the motley crew. Hire her on the spot. Oh oh, I'm perfectly alright. I'm more worried about you. 
What was that? Don't beat yourself up over it too much, dear. People do strange things when the old fight or flight kicks in. I'm just glad, of course, dear. steel door with a prompt the cobalt blue surface fit old cobalt paint it leads to a side building adjacent to this one the old building the door does not budge you do it's a door in the back of the kitchen why do you care where it leads eccentric it's hardly a side investigation you already have a name for if you say so, Gart is the person to ask about this. standard royalist theme, clinging to a picture book version of the past century, waiting for the king to come back and cast out all the profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand emblazoned on it. The contemporary period stands still. The fated carousel of progress that doomed the royal Hello again, sweetie. Yes, dear. Uh, a paraplegic is someone with limited or no ability to use the lower half of their body. Paraplegia is caused by spinal cord injuries, like falling from a great height or a grenade explosion. That's quite all right. I'm used to people asking questions. I know they're thinking about it anyway. Whatever do you mean? Ah, yes. Probably roll with me by the Fletchers. People often quote the Fletchers at me. Morel says it's my theme song. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching our syrupy sweet lord. A whole hour, and you haven't thought about there he is, the old boy, the devil. You rascal, what happened, man? Get your drink on and your act together. Can I help you? Do I have a sh- It's not a shaker. It- Am I wearing- Am I smiling? Do you see me smile? Because I'm- Play it calm. This man needs to understand. You need a drink to help- Like what? Mine? No, it- Thank you for clearing the up. Why do you keep the container? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors. I thought as much. And are you the only party? Well, yes. Us and. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. Prod at him and find out. Callous? What are you? 
Krasmazov. Almost all establishments in Revachol. Krasmazov, nom de guerre, was an economist and a historical materialist. He was a leading figure on the Grad side of the Centennial Revolution, where he headed the nine day government. Mazov is considered the father of scientific communism. Mazovian thought, or he killed himself. No one was implying you were, officer. Where were we? What do you need them for? It concerns the case. Please cooperate. Just bring them back once you're done, please. Absolutely out. Absolutely in the question. First we find a sad banger. Then we... your body is ready, sire. 